all right so actually to log into your ManagePack account you could actually just type www.cobaltjn.managepack.com slash login to your web browser and then it will redirect you to this page right here so what you need to type right here is your email of course and then you will need to type your password and then you will be redirected to this page right here this page is called your dashboard and dashboard is basically um, the home page for your managed bank account so as you can see right here this is the menu bar it contains um, every pages that your managed bank account has and then this is your information panel it contains a lot of key contacts tutor groups and parent contacts and this is your main view right here um, it contains the school calendar and then this we have upcoming events or deadlines so on the top right corner you can see your profile your full name and your initials and you could also see this icon right here this icon right here is a mailbox so you actually need to keep up with this mailbox once you open it there are a lot of messages that you will get through this mailbox and that is why it is very important for you to um, keep updating and opening this mailbox right here every time you access your manage back all right so firstly i will talk about the calendar so once you go into the calendar you could see a calendar for the whole month for in this case is may 2018 as you can see we have a lot of events right here and usually the events are filtered by category based on this color coded bars right here you could also add personal event if you would like to so that you could focus on this one calendar and use it as your main calendar for your daily usage next i will show you about ib manager so the ib manager itself it contains a lot of information especially about the ib program firstly um, this sa page right here which stands for service and actions will be used to record your sa activities which is one of the requirements of the ib program so to add an SA activity, all you need to do is just click Add SA Activity. Insert your activity name and just fill in the rest of the information. You could refer this to the SA guidelines or even contact the school's um, IB office. Next, if you are year 10, you will be faced with personal project. This is my personal project um, this year. And I've actually completed this and so basically this page right here will provide your supervisors on the information of your personal project you could refer this information to the personal project guidelines or contact the IB office next I will move on to the messages section so in this section you could see multiple messages that were sent to your year level group so this section is pretty much similar to the inbox section that I showed you earlier next I will talk about calendar section so this section basically contains the school-wide events or even the public holidays so there are no subject specific deadline right here moving on to the file page you could see that there are a bunch of files that has been uploaded to this page right here so this files tab is a compilation of all of the files that are included uh, on every messages that are sent to you or even the whole year level so I will then move on to weekly timetable so this timetable right here is basically your daily timetable usually you get printed version of your timetable but this um, electronic version of your timetable it is pretty useful as you could um, actually see what the teachers have marked you so um, even pa your parents could also monitor either you um, get on class on time 
excused from this class or for a certain reason or even absent or late to the class. The next thing I would like to discuss to you about is the classes tab. So once you click on the class tab, you could see that there are lists of different classes that you are enrolled to. So once you click to that class, uh, there are a lot of things that you could see right here. There are multiple tabs on this um, corner right here. So the first one is the overview, which is basically um, the overview of your whole class either uh, it contains something like task essays or even examinations so actually stuff like that so next I would like to talk about the tasks tab so in this tab you could uh, see multiple tasks that your teacher have posted in this page you could also monitor the different grades that you have earned uh, from different tasks. And the units bar will be also very useful, especially for you if you would like to formulate um, weekly or even monthly reflections. As uh, from this unit bar, you could access the different key concepts, related concepts, global concepts, conceptual understandings, and many more about the current unit that you are actually studying in class. You will then have a specific calendar for that um, class and it only contains um, the, uh, the events that are linked to that class such as summative assessments, formative assessments, examinations, and etc. You also have messages bar which allows um, both students and teachers to communicate to each other on that specific class. Then you will have the Files tab, which contains um, multiple files usually, um, which are linked to your daily um, classes or lessons, which in this case will be the Bahasa Indonesia Language and Literature. Next, I will talk about the Portfolio. So Portfolio is a system of um, file storage where you could actually search for previously submitted works, your previously submitted works, um, through this portfolio tab right here. So inside the portfolio, you could find a lot of um, folders from SA up to different subjects such as sciences, arts, personal project, language acquisition, uh, language and literature, mathematics, or even design. So for example, let me take um, sciences. For sciences, I have uploaded a lot of stuff since I was year seven. So as you could see, there are a lot of um, documents and projects that I have submitted before for my previous summative and formative assessments. And as you could see, this is going to be very useful for you, especially if you would like to refer to previous units or even refer to previous works to formulate reflections to understand what did you did wrong so that you could um, build a better, let's say, scientific report, for example, for the next summative assessment. The next tab I would like to talk about the reports tab. So the reports tab is actually um, a compilation of digital report cards. So the school have actually started to not print um, hard copied um, report cards for the sake of our environment and sustainability. So you could actually access your report cards um, through ManageBank. Now, if you are enrolled to different school clubs, community groups, or even um, like multiple SA community or CAS, you could access those groups here in this groups tab. So let's say, for example, I am enrolled to the Global Day School TV Club. And as you can see right here, it is similar to the class tab. However, this is built specifically for your specific club or community. Thank you for watching this video. For further inquiry, please contact the school's IB office. Have a great day and welcome to the Global JS School community.